Uh, hello. Uh, welcome to this training today. My name is Zefania Mwando, and uh, I'm going to take you through a smart parking solution. But uh, today we focus on uh, vehicle entrance and exit management solution. So you're welcome to learn more about our solution. Then uh, in case you have questions, uh, please uh, feel free to to ask and uh, I hope by the end of the presentation you'll learn about our new products uh, to help uh, improve in vehicle entrance and exit management. Uh, so to start, this is what we are going to cover through this presentation. Uh, we are going to look at the challenges. Uh, we're also going to look at uh, the values of this solution. We we'll look at the solutions uh, that we have. Then uh, the different application scenarios. Uh, of course, we review some success cases and some product list. So uh, by the time I finish this training, I hope you'd have learned something uh, about our products. Uh, so again, uh, we start by uh, highlighting the challenges that we have for this solution. Uh, one of the challenges is uh, uh, when you, you, uh, you enter a building or a parking area, you find that there is someone recording a uh, number plate. So this is kind of an, an unreliable solution. Uh, so we give them a solution that uh, we give them a higher license plate recognition accuracy. Uh, the barriers, there are no barriers or they are dam damaged by accident. So we give them a more stable barrier with even spare part, a spare part and upgrade support. Then we have the anti-smashing equipment used to help. So every time you have a parking system, it gets smashed by cars. So we can introduce the anti-smashing equipment, which is this radar here, which will help us with the smashing and all that. Then we need uh, high construction costs. Uh, it's one other challenge. And uh, when you have high construction cost, it makes the deployment of a parking solution kind of really expensive and not viable uh, as a solution. So to solve this, we give you quick to install, easy to install. We, we can uh, take a short time and also it's cheap because we will have all the details that are required to to install the parking solution. Uh, then uh, looking at uh, what I have here, uh, we're looking at uh, the parking number plate recognition camera. We have the parking management system, uh, which as at now, Dahua is providing a free parking management system for a small vehicle and entrance cases. Then you have the number plate recognition together with the information display screen. We have the barrier. We also have the anti-smashing radar. So what are the values? Uh, why choose these cameras? Uh, we have uh, some solutions where we can give backend recognition and a camera. So you just install a camera, then all the processing is done uh, in the server. But this is slow, and uh, it's also expensive to run the server. Then another solution that is common in the market is uh, where they install a loop and a loop detector uh, in the parking. The problem is there is no video, there is no sound, it's hard to install uh, such a solution. Uh, we also have the ticket card machine uh, to control entrance and exit. But again, this is a solution that is really hard to maintain. Uh, scanning the ticket, also is it loose? The ticket, but now we have an upgrade solution where we give you number plate recognition camera. So when you come in, you just drive the NPR camera detects and does uh, recognition of your vehicle. Uh, then it's easy to deploy. Uh, it's easy to set up the structure and also do maintenance. Uh, so saving on the cost. So what we have is NPR, which is automatic number plate recognition. And this is the variety that Dahua has. For all and ceiling mount, we have ITC 413 
which is readily available in the Kenyan market. Uh, we have, if you are installing just on a, as a stand, you can have this type of camera. Then for this, uh, it's a camera already mounted on a pole with even a display screen. Then we have uh, a pole and a camera uh, in that case. So the highlights you're looking at is high accuracy. Uh, we have uh, high intelligence, high stability, and quick configuration. There is even a quick configuration menu inside this camera that you just click in, in five simple clicks, you already have a, a complete uh, system. Then moving on, uh, we have uh, looking at the accuracy. So these cameras are built in, I have a built in circuit that does computing. Uh, we have developed uh, so many algorithms supporting more than 120 countries. We have 98% accuracy at 99% capture rate. Then um, we don't imitate, uh, we do actual processing. Uh, through number plate recognition. And this is the logic. We input the video, then we detect and track objects. Uh, at the same time, we try to detect and recognize the number plate. We analyze it, uh, which direction is it going. Then we capture the metadata, more information about the vehicle, like the color, the logo, the type. Then we output that information on our monitoring center screen. So uh, what you're looking at, uh, also this camera, it has a Wigan protocol, so we can easily integrate with access control. Uh, it also supports human and vehicle detection uh, in an area, so we can also help reduce, uh, for instance, human accidents when they cross uh, illegal areas, we get uh, notifications and uh, we can respond. It also has a built-in red and blue warning light, a sound speaker and sound pickup. And the goal is to provide active deterrence and reminder facilities on uh, on the basis of video intelligence to achieve a closed loop uh, in front end. So we can even give warnings, not safe to cross and, all, and such. Then there is also a built-in remote control uh, with a controller. So we can easily trigger a relay for door opening and closing and such. Then we have stability. So it has a defog feature uh, where it controls the temperature of the front panel uh, and sends to avoid mist and condensation on the camera. Then we have the front panel with 10 degrees uh, design to avoid rain uh, interference. So we have that kind of angle uh, in the front to prevent water from interfering. Then the camera is IP66, which can operate safely uh, in areas with high rainfall for a long time and also in areas with high dust incidents. Then uh, we also look at some uh, two-step wizard configuration. So you just log into the camera. It's so simple. Uh, after logging into the camera, uh, you just go to uh, this menu, uh, ANPR camera, we have a configuration wizard. So you select the date format you want, the time format you want, the, your time zone. Uh, you also select that. Then you synchronize um, uh, the time or set the time based on uh, what you prefer. So most of the time I would prefer to synchronize with my computer. Then choose the algorithm. For instance, in Kenya, we use the European algorithm. Then we go to next. Uh, you draw uh, where do we trigger cap capture. So every time a vehicle crosses, uh, you trigger, then you set, that's it. Then you go to home page. Let's now uh, analyze this. So this is a simple two-step wizard configuration, uh, which will give us a uh, solution. Then we have uh, barriers. Barriers, you have variations, both straight arm barriers, folding arm barriers, uh, middle level barriers and high level. Barriers. This is just based on the number of uh, cycles a barrier can survive. So middle level have a lower, relatively lower number of cycles, but are cost effective. But it doesn't mean that they are not good quality 
they are part of the best quality of barriers we can give. Then we have high-end barriers, which even uh, have built-in uh, light signal to show when the barrier is open, it lights green. When the barrier is closed, it lights red. So no need for extra traffic lights. Then uh, we look at the design. Uh, Five million times, that, that's the lifespan uh, of the cycle uh, opening, closing, open, close. Then uh, the, bra the servo brushless motor with low power consumption, less heat and high efficiency, which means it will be uh, living, uh, existing for a very long time. Then we have uh, easy to lubricate based on the design. Uh, then we've already done this. Uh, and this is the simple uh, demonstration on the test system for these barriers. So we have spring stability test where we test how stable this spring will be. Uh, then uh, high precision torque collection rack. Uh, then uh, we do some extra tests, uh, which I'll not really explain. Then uh, this is uh, our research and development real environment test site. Then we do also production tests, and this also has been approved. Uh, then uh, in terms of uh, safety, we have the anti-smashing methods. Uh, we have anti-collision technology applied. Uh, we also have anti-collision rubber strip installed under the barrier so that in case it collides with, uh, for instance, a vehicle, it does not really damage the paint, instead saves. Uh, then we meet, uh, we have certification meeting the CE and uh, ROHS, HS, requirement on hazardous substance, certifications. So this means the barrier is safe and clear to meet most market uh, demand. Then we have high ease of use. Uh, so to solve the problem of traffic congestion at entrance and exit, we can have a one press normally open mode. For example, when you want to allow all vehicles to just exit. Uh, then we can also adjust the amp speed. We can also directly power the anti-smashing radar uh, so that we cover a wider range. Then each device comes with two remote controllers. So this would help to improve. Then the distance for this remote controller is 50 meters. So it even gives someone who is controlling the parking convenience. Then the platform, we call it the smart parking platform. Uh, we have uh, built an architecture uh, where we do monitoring. Uh, you can configure the different access levels. Uh, this uh, software runs on Windows and it's applicable for multiple cases. There's no need for additional server patches. Uh, you just you can even run uh, on your PC. Then it's high performing, so you need single software support up to six lanes and up to 20 lanes. We can even support by cascading it. Uh, it's developed by Dahua uh, using the client, no non sensitive client server architecture. Uh, to avoid installation of complex deployments. Uh, then the solutions we have. So these are multiple. So we have the single lane management case uh, where from the camera, we just integrate with the barrier so that it triggers opening and closing. Then we have multi-access management uh, scenario where you have multiple sites. This we use the parking uh, software. Then we have access management with more than 20 lanes. We use DSS to manage. So the solution, this is the process. You walk in, uh, we check uh, which database are you in. Are you in the VIP, are you in the block list, are you in the stranger? We can display some information here. Welcome this, uh, please maintain speed of this. Uh, then uh, you enter uh, the parking. Uh, when you want to exit, we do real-time parking fee calculation. We leverage the local payment or third-party charge. So like uh, we can le leverage uh, card and mobile payment in Kenya. Then we check the payment records. Uh, then once you've already paid, uh, you just exit and the barrier automatically opens. On this display, you can even uh, show information like thank you, so-and-so, uh, you're welcome again. Uh, you can also display the display the payment details uh, on the same display. Then the application cases, 
that we have for this. Uh, we can apply this in a shopping mall, uh, in a residential area. We can also apply this in a school. We can apply this in a hotel. We can apply it in hospitals, stadiums, office buildings, factory, factories, uh, scenic uh, areas, that is outdoor areas. Uh, so, so many, it's limitless applications. Does not mean that if it's not mentioned here, you cannot get. And in the event you want to set up a showroom, what is displayed on this picture here? We can give you a demo unit uh, at a discounted price uh, for that. So just uh, talk to me separately uh, through my communication channels, which uh, will be shared, uh, but you can also just Google search for the Fania Wonder and you'll find my contact there to, uh, to share. Then we we'll look at the success cases. So this, like for instance, in Asia, we have a high-end residential project. Uh, we've deployed 12 pieces all-in-one NPR cameras uh, with a screen uh, with automated capture and display. Uh, then we have deployed the high-end barrier uh, and, the, and the smart parking platform. We also have deployed this. Uh, the middle end barrier, the platform, 20 pieces, uh, all in one NPR camera. So you, if you look at this, most of our customers prefer all this, this all in one, but if you have other preferences, you can still support. For Europe, we have a factory project. We have deployed 25 pieces of uh, ITC 413 and middle end wind resistance barrier. Then uh, looking at the product list that we have, uh, we have the all-in-one and PR camera, uh, the IPM ECS. Uh, we have the vehicle management camera. This is a normal camera. We have ITC 413 uh, series. Uh, we have the smart parking solution software. Uh, so I'll just like to highlight that these cameras usually are designed to monitor at 60 kilometers per hour. Uh, this one, uh, 80, uh, even 120, we have a, a series that can support this. So we can also customize this based on your area uh, speeds, but I'm thinking even at 50, 60 kilometers per hour yeah, when entering a parking lot, that's a reasonable speed. Then we have the vehicle access control barrier, uh, the 105 series, the 203 series. So we call it starter, middle end, and high end barriers. Then you have the anti-smashing trader. So with this, uh, components, you already have controlled the entrance and exit uh, system of your parking. So that covers uh, my brief introduction uh, about the parking entrance and exit solution. I don't know if you have any questions. Uh, at this time, I would welcome uh, questions uh, if we have any, but uh, I think that briefly clarifies the introduction to a uh, smart parking entrance and exit control uh, system. Any question? Uh, just unmute your mic and uh, mention, and I'll be able to explain anything you need to, to understand. Uh, if we don't have any question, then uh, it means it's the end of our training today. Uh, again, I will be doing another series on the same parking solution uh, where I'll now cover inside the parking lot. Uh, how do we guide you? How do you manage such vehicles inside the parking? How do you monitor incidents and such? So you are also welcome to that kind of training uh, in the coming days. Thank you so much for your time and uh, have a nice uh, or enjoy the rest of your day uh, as we move towards uh, learning more about Dahua products and solutions. I would like to mention that we are, we are located in Westlands, Nairobi uh, at Mitsumi Business Park along with Ethiron and we can help you to, be, to build your project requirements and give your clients uh, solutions they would like to procure about parking. Thank you so much. I think uh, we are at the end of the meeting, so feel free to exit. 
and uh, see you again the next training. Thank you so much. Uh, have a nice day. Yeah.